it has embraced lies and deceit. The Republican Party used to believe in a big tent, which welcomed the tired, the poor, the huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Now, we shelter the ignorant, the racist, who only stoke anger and hatred to those who are different than us. Really, the broader issue is that the Republican Party has become too ratchet. You know, they're they're too out the bag. They they don't have any grace about themselves anymore. It's just blah. They just vomit everything out completely. It's 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 gross. It's it's unappealing. It's disgusting. It makes you lose your appetite. That's really what's wrong uh, with with these people. It's like oh. I mean, I can't, I can't navigate in here anymore. It's too, the swamp's too murky. It once was clear. I once was able to swim in corruption and swim in, in racism that was lightened with dog whistles. But you know, now it's, it's just, I, I don't, I can't scam people the same way. It, it, it's, uh, it's no good. I mean, that's all this really is. But you know, again, I guess you got to give credit where it's due. I mean, you know, you, you no longer support the, the, the tyranny, I guess. But, you know, we'll see what, what happens next. But it's just funny how, you know, a lot of people in the Republican Party, you know, pretend like, oh, all of this stuff is just so new. It's just so brand new what the Republican Party's up to. I, who, who, who could have seen it come? Following the tragic Oklahoma City bombing, former President George H.W. Bush publicly refuted those who used fear to gain support. In stark contrast, our leaders today belittle and in some cases justify attacks on the U.S. Capitol as, quote, legitimate political discourse. The once great party of Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Reagan has turned its back on the ideals of liberty and self-governance. Something that kills me about just the Republican Party is how they always come to the conclusions like once everyone else is like already dead and suffering and like society has already like melted away, then they're like, oh, well, I think I understand that. I'm 30 years old. I remember my dad used to be talking about how he, I remember Republicans used to be a Newt Gingrich would be on TV and he would be like, these motherfuckers are crazy. And, and I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. I was just a little kid. But, you know, I, I circle this around to talk about Adam Kissinger, who, you know, got to give him a little bit of credit, I guess, you know, for standing up to the Republican Party. But he acts like it's like this is this is brand new news to everyone. So, I'm going to read just one of the quotes, and then I have a few things to say about this. Our constituents voted us in based on our beliefs, but we cannot use our faith as a sword and a shield while ignoring the fact that we are all children of God, that we are all Americans. I'm just going to read one of the quotes. So he said, the once great party of Lincoln, Roosevelt and Reagan. Lincoln was uh, like, you know, literally over a century ago. So that's ridiculous. So. Roosevelt and Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. The, the once great party of Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Reagan has turned its back on the ideals of liberty and self-governance. Instead, it has embraced lies and deceit. The Republican Party used to believe in a big tent. Now, we shelter the ignorant, the racist, who only stoke anger and hatred. Like, what are you talking about the Republican Party used to believe in a big tent? Like, yes, maybe over a century ago, and only for a little bit during Reconstruction. But then, you know, when those black people started getting a little bit too much, then, you know, all those, you know, uh, Reconstruction policies were abandoned by, you know, all the white, you know, all the white liberals and conservatives in the country alike. So, you know, let, let's not even talk about that. But then again, like Ronald Reagan was for a big tent. His whole campaign was literally running on uh, welfare queens and where he launched his campaign, how he launched his campaign. Like, get out of here, man. The Republican Party been racist. 